A soundbar can make a big improvement to your TV watching and they're more convenient and affordable than a surround sound system. In this video, I've rounded up what I think are the best soundbars of 2021. Before we start, let me know if you've owned any soundbar before and what was your experience with it. And also, to see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these soundbars, you can check out the links in the description below. Alright, let's get started. Starting it off with the Samsung HWQ950A, quite a known name in this industry. Even though the Samsung HWQ950A stretches the definition of a soundbar to the max by actually comprising four separate bits of kit, there's nothing about its appearance that prepares you for the scale of sound it delivers. The main soundbar is more than a meter wide, but slim enough to tuck under the screen of most of today's TVs. The rears are heavy but sufficiently compact to easily fit on a bookshelf. And despite carrying an unusually large 8-inch driver, the subwoofer has a slim enough profile to hide down the side of a sofa or under a sideboard. You can very easily modify the sound to your uh, liking via the included remote and the bar's built-in LED display. I'd like to give a formal thanks to the Samsung engineers for this display. I hate having to use dots or color-coded messages to figure out what the hell I'm changing on a soundbar or what input I'm using. With this screen, which uses actual words, I'm never confused. The Samsung HWQ950A is impressive for mixed usage. The soundbar comes with an auto equalizer feature that uses a microphone built into the subwoofer to automatically optimize audio reproduction based on the unique acoustic characteristics of your room. With this feature turned down, it has a pretty new neutral sound profile suitable for most types of audio content. It also comes with lots of sound enhancements, features as well as discrete surround speakers. Moving on, best for its value, we have the Vizio M-Series 5.1.2. The Vizio M-Series 5.1.2 soundbar is an impressive Dolby Atmos soundbar that's under $500. That's an important factor when searching for a home theater upgrade and it allows Vizio to stand out in a crowded market. This is a premium looking for sounding soundbar that is incredibly affordable. Unlike many cheaper soundbar systems, this option includes support for Dolby Atmos, which sounds like the action is coming from above. With a modern minimalist design, acoustically transparent cloth exterior and seamless docking integration, the M-Series is meant to make a powerful impression in every way. The Vizio comes with lots of ways to adjust the sound, which is a blessing and a curse. Too many options can take the simplicity out of a soundbar, but it also allows you to create the sound you like best. And you'll likely need to make adjustments, especially to the bass, which can be overpowering. The placement of the up-firing drivers isn't ideal. They are to toward the center of the soundbar. Dolby recommends you put your up-firing speaker over your left and right channels. The placement may be a reason why the weight effect isn't quite as immersive as some other Atmos soundbars. Nevertheless, the Vizio M-Series 5.1.2 is a great value for those who want to get into Dolby Atmos without breaking the bank. Next on the list, known for its good sound quality, we have the Sonos Arc. The Sonos Arc very much looks like the Sonos is making a statement. This is a huge soundbar both literally and figuratively. As the name suggests, the Arc's 270 degrees. C-shaped grille promises the brand's signature audio quality for Dolby Atmos formats and premium home entertainment experiences. The Sonos Arc draws on Dolby's latest True HD and Dolby Digital Plus sound codecs to deliver the best quality lossless audio found on cutting-edge Blu-ray discs and some of the leading streaming services. It then enhances the 3D soundscape using Dolby Atmos object tracks to bounce certain sounds of the walls around you so they feel like they're coming at you from all angles. While all this might sound complicated, the Sonos Arc setup couldn't be simpler, involving just a couple of steps on the smartphone app. The minimalist cable connections and an all-in-one system construction add to this no-fuss feeling and streamlined aesthetics. The soundbar is a lot longer than the Sonos Beam. It has a similar plastic finish, though it still feels high-end and sturdy. There are two plastic grills on its sides and a black plastic mesh between the grill in the front and top sides of the bar. You can also purchase this soundbar in white if you prefer. The Sonos Arc wants to be noticed. 
It measures a mighty 45 to 4.5 to 3.5 inches, but weighs a manageable 13.78 pounds. So as large as it looks, it's light enough for one person to transport and set up. With its precise turning software and Dolby Atmos support, it's the best soundbar for Sonos fans that can afford it. Next up, we have the best one to enjoy your movie nights, the GBL Bar 9.1. Only the very best sound bars can replicate the immersive sound of the cinema in the home. And GBL's latest Dolby Atmos soundbar, the GBL 9.1 Bar, seeks to do just that. The Bar 9.1 has a pleasingly bass, rich, dynamic and attacking sound that means it's at its most exciting with Dolby Atmos and DTSX mixes. In terms of offering cinematic audio, this nails the brief. The Bar 9.1 looks like your average soundbar with its grey casing and various speaker grills, but it's a big boy at almost 35 inches wide. The top and sides are metal, but the bottom and back are plastic. Around back, you've got your port setup of the JBL Bar 9.1 was straightforward. It only took a few minutes and I had the system up and running. Connections include an HDMI input and an output with eARC, an optical digital input, and Ethernet and USB ports. The HDMI jacks also support 4K Dolby Vision HDR pass-through. AirPlay 2, Chromecast, and Bluetooth wireless streaming are all supported. And both the surround speakers and the subwoofer automatically pair up wirelessly with the soundbar during setup. The Bar 9.1's surround speakers are the system's standout feature. Their built-in batteries last for up to 10 hours, and when it's time to recharge, a process that takes 3 hours. The Bar 9.1 system strikes an ideal balance between advanced features and simplicity. If you want to only make minor adjustments and start enjoying movies, this is your soundbar. Last, we have something for you fellow streamers, the Roku Stream Bar Pro. If you're looking to streamline your home theater setup, the Roku Stream Bar Pro is as simple as you can get. It's an all-in-one soundbar with a 4K Roku streaming player built in. You connect an HDMI cable between the soundbar and your TV and you're pretty much done. If you are a Roku fan or simple, simply uh, like to stream your favorite content using a slick interface and maybe in the market for a new soundbar, why not consider a soundbar that has Roku built right in? A great opportunity for a setup you are looking to keep simple. I'll admit, it's a unique device within a setup to drop a Roku into. However, finding a high-tech end TV with a Roku building can be a challenge. Most of the options out there are generic or come close to generic in performance. So this frees you to invest in any screen you want. Mount is as flat as you want to the wall and never worry about it. Let the soundbar do all the streaming as the TV focuses its resources on displaying a great image. Designing wise, it has a black fabric, front and sides, a rubbery top without any buttons, and a black Roku logo on the front. There is a small LED indicator in the middle of the front near to the top so that you know the unit is actually on, but it is totally inconspicuous and does not lure the eye in a dark room. The Roku Stream Bar comes with a voice remote that can adjust sounds for boosted volume, speech clarity, lower loud commercials, and optimization for night listening. If you use the HDMI ARC input, the remote can also adjust TV volume as well as turning it on and off. The four buttons on the bottom of the remote, Netflix, Disney+, Hulu, and Sling, cannot be reprogrammed. One of the biggest bonuses about the stream bar is that you can expand it from a stereo 2 channel system to a 4.1 surround system by simply adding additional components over time. And alright, we've reached the bottom of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If it was helpful, then please leave a like. And if you have any questions about the sound bars we just mentioned, then please drop a comment down below and I will get back to you, of course. See you guys on the next video. Peace out.